All right. So let's start with the class now. Um, so last class we studied about permanent change, uh, different types of changes. Permanent changes, temporary, natural, man-made, fast, slow. So today we will be learning about some more different types of changes, and let's see what they are. So yeah. So the rest. So the other changes are desirable changes, undesirable changes, periodic changes, non-periodic changes, physical and chemical changes. So what are these changes? Let's take a look at them. Okay. So desirable change. Um, so what is the meaning of desirable in English? What is the meaning of desirable? Please type. Uh, don't speak. Please type if you can. Ma'am, can I type? Uh, can you type, Avni? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Then please type. Which we want, yes, which is useful. Good, Pragya, Alia, Vivan, uh, good. Yeah, so desirable is something that we want. We want it to happen, uh, something, yes, something which we want. So that is what desirable means. So desirable changes are changes that we want and that are good for us, very good, Avni. So that are good for us. So a change brought about by a person or nature which is useful is a desirable change, okay? So what is the definition of a desirable change? A change brought about by a person or nature which is useful. Uh, Anjali, do you, okay. Um, all right, so, um, how is curd made, guys? Do you guys know how curd is made? Ma'am, when milk changes into curd. Yes, uh, so we change milk into curd. Uh, so the change from milk to curd, why do we do that? Why do we change milk to curd? Ma'am, uh, then only we will get curd. Correct. Then only we will get curd because we want curd, okay? Okay, but there is one more important thing. Uh, so a lot of people cannot digest milk very easily, okay? Uh, whereas curd is very easily digestible, okay? So a lot of people, they have uh, lactose intolerance, so they cannot digest curd very easily and uh, sorry milk very easily so when you convert milk to curd it is more easily digestible okay so that is a desirable change and then animal dung and dead leaves uh, you can convert those into useful manure does anybody know what manure is what is manure yes it's a fertilizer very fertilizer. good yes Okay, so when you have animal dung and dead leaves, um, you it, it's a it's these are all waste materials, right? We don't have anything much to do with them, uh, but we can put them to good use, which which is by you know you can convert that to manure and you can use that for raising crops. So something that is waste can be used, and that is a desirable change for us. It's a natural fertilizer, very good. Um, all right, so. Yes, uh, Yashika, Zaina, um, Avni, good one, yeah, all right, so, uh, so yeah, so that is also a useful change. Then melting of snow in summer, what happens when the snow melts or when ice melts, what do you get? Ma'am, water. Very good. So when snow melts, you get water and then these wa this water goes into the rivers, okay, so the rivers yeah so the rivers don't run out of water they don't run dry it is getting new or fresh supply of water when the snow melts okay so uh, this melting of snow in the summer we require already in the summer we have shortage of water in the cities and uh, you know lots of places we have shortage of water so when the snow melts in the summer it supplies fresh water to all these places which have shortage of water okay so it is a desirable change. We want that. Okay. The next thing, change from winter to summer. Okay. So when when 
when we when the weather changes from winter to summer what happens the heat because of the heat the water evaporates water from the oceans water you know the water cycle right so water from the oceans water from very good from the lakes all of this water evaporates and where does it go and what does it form all this evaporated form uh, water goes into the clouds yes then from the clouds once you know the clouds gets heavy and it cools down it the water vapor condenses to form air uh, sorry water vapor condenses to form rain and then the rain you know it it pours onto the crops and then so all this entire water cycle is a desirable change it's something that helps us it's something that's useful uh, to to um, grow crops and all of that okay so let's move forward so this is what desirable change is uh, now let's look at undesirable changes so uh, in the first picture if we see i there is a campfire and people are roasting marshmallows on it so uh, what is happening the heat from the campfire is cooking the marshmallow and uh, then you can eat it as a dessert or as a sweet or whatever and so this heat is useful to us because this heat is cooking the food right so this heat is useful to us but what happens when the same heat is burning the house then what happens it is not useful to us in fact it is destructive to us okay it is harmful to us yes so uh, so when the same fire when the same heat burns the house it can be dangerous it can be harmful so this change is an undesirable change so change brought about by a person or nature such that it has a harmful effects or it leads to failure yes alia okay such that it leads to failure is called an undesirable change very good so yeah a lot of people are saying changes that are not useful to us that will destroy or that are dangerous harmful all of these things are undesirable changes okay for example uh, food turns bad very easily in the summer okay and when food turns bad what happens you end up getting bad taste and you end up falling sick also and flooding of rivers in rainy season so during rainy seasons there's a lot of rain and the rivers overflow uh, the change that we don't want and it happens yes undesirable changes are that we don't want and are not useful to us very good uh, fawaz and alia uh, yes yashika do you have something to say all right so yeah so when there is a lot of rain during the rainy seasons the rivers overflow and then what happens when the rivers overflow and flood there is flood very good yes there is flood and what happens if there is flood people will die and the place will destroy and people will die and the crops will washed away very good yeah so people die crops get destroyed there's a lot of property damage um lots of things right like i mean roads get damaged people lose their lives houses get destroyed lots of things happen so th this is like a disaster okay so uh, we don't want this change so it's an undesirable and what happens when you break a glass object a, when you break a glass object it cannot be put back together okay Uh, it will be hard to take yes. in hand. Yes, correct. Uh, you may get hurt. Very good. Uh, so yeah, gla breaking glass objects. It is you cannot put them back together. So that is also an undesirable change. If I have, uh, if let's say I have a favorite glass in my house and I like to drink my tea in that cup, and that cup breaks, and I. you know will i be able to have tea in that cup again no so i'm going to be upset and it's not a desirable change it is not something that i want okay so rusting of articles of iron so what what happens in iron rusts so if i have a table that is made up of iron uh the color yeah. changes yes what else the object loses its uh, shine or its luster yes the object loses its lust but what what else happens it gets weak yes so 
it gets weak very good um we don't like it anymore that's right but some people like rusty things i don't know uh but anyway so fawaz uh you are saying blood from thumb because of uh breaking of glass objects right okay uh neha so when when you put when a glass breaks it is not that the, she says it's not the thing the thing is not that it breaks the thing is that the person gets injured actually it's both the things neha it is not just that the person gets injured but it is also that the thing has broken because when some when something that belongs to you breaks it is a loss of your property right so that is an undesirable change as well okay uh it is not useful get harm touch more rust yes uh yeah you rust will cause you harm um it can cause you infection so if you get uh, hurt by something that is rusting always get a tt injection um otherwise you end up getting infections okay so all right so yeah so these are all undesirable changes rusting of articles of iron lead them to being weak okay so change which is desirable at one time may be undesirable at some other time for example we looked at the fire in one case the the ch that change or that cooking or the heat from that fire was desirable to us because it gives us warmth gives it cooks our food so heat from the fire is desirable to us but the same heat from the fire when it catches into the when it when fire when your house catches fire then that heat is not desirable that fire is not desirable so changes which are desirable at one point may be undesirable at some other time okay all right so now let's take a look at um these other things so sometimes while carrying out desirable changes some undesirable changes may also take place okay so an example of that wait let me just see what you guys are typing for now based on the basis of use yes uh, zaina yeah all right so sometimes while carrying out desirable changes some undesirable changes may also take place for example burning of petrol in cars uh, that is a desirable change right we want the petrol in the car to burn so that the car can move and go about and we can you know go around we want the petrol to burn that is a desirable change but then when that when petrol burns what happens it releases poisonous gases like carbon monoxide nitric oxide into the atmosphere okay so when these are in when this all of these uh, gases are produced and they come into the atmosphere they are poisonous to us okay so uh, that that results in pollution and pollution is not something we desire it's an undesirable change okay so uh, sometimes when we do some things that are desired to us you know undesirable changes also happen unintentionally and they happen okay um the uh, another example for that is thermal power stations so if you look at a thermal power plant you'll notice that these power plants they they generate electricity for the entire city or for the entire town um and they generate electricity by burning coal okay so if you notice these power plants there's a picture here on the left bottom you if you notice this these power plants they release a lot of smoke okay so electricity is produced by burning coal it is produced by the heat energy that is produced by burning coal so this is a desirable change we want that heat energy we want that electricity by burning coal but then what happens when you burn coal it produces smoke and poisonous gases and it, and that becomes an undesirable change okay right okay any questions anyone so far very good neha yeah so when we cook food using a gas stove the food item sometimes like milk overflows if we don't look at the gas constantly yeah so yeah that is an undesirable change we don't want the you know milk overflowing um what else okay so yeah even when there is a gas leakage uh, from your cylinder that is also an undesirable change generally we want the gas right we want the gas to cook our food but when there is a gas leakage then 
it could be harmful to us it could be destructive to the house the house could catch fire okay 